There you go. And what's your name? So I'm Brad. Brad? I'm Sonali. Sonali? Yeah. Nice. I'm, I'm Mick. Hi, Mick. I'm Mick. Yeah. So what's your itinerary for Nepal? Are you going to go on the range? Yes. I am, well, I'm going to be doing, I'm going on the 24th. I'm leaving here. And I'm going to do like a 30-day right. area. But I'm heading to uh, the Langtang Trek first. There's the compass made out of stone. Ooh. Hiya. Oh, yeah, hello there. Hiya, do you mind if I look around? No I, butter. I'm vlogging it, that's okay. What is it? YouTube. Oh yeah, work away. There we go. Just showing what's offer in Wexford in the Kilmore Key area today. Oh, work away. Yeah. Tell them we're lovely people as well. You are, you are, you are. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It's uh, the 21st of January, 2023. Today, what I have in store is to take the uh, local link, which is the uh, Wexford Bus Connect, and uh, take it to the Kilmore Key area. Kilmore Key is a fishing little village. It has about 375 people living there all the time, but it has a lot more to offer. We're gonna take it down. I'll put on the link for the Wexford uh, link to show you the, the uh, the time time of the buses and then the cost the cost is actually very affordable because it's about a 30 minute drive to go to Kilmore this one will cost you uh, 10 euros for a day return it's an 8 euro one way or 10 euros day return so very very affordable it stops along the way to like places like Johnstown Castle so if you've seen my Johnstown Castle vlog I'll leave the des description in the comments in the description below and you could uh, take a look at that video. Uh, the weather was very inclement and I ended up losing Emily's umbrella there. So it's a little bit of fun there if you want to take a look at that. So I'm gonna get on the bus when it comes here. We're gonna go down the, the quay all the way to Kilmore Quay and I'll show you all the little villages and there is a special chipper there. Now myself, I've been a vegan for 13 years. Um, wasn't out of the end it was just for more health wise um but then since i developed cancer in 2000 i had prostate cancer and i've been got a clean bill of health um since then so i've started thinking about uh my dietary uh restrictions that i've kept on myself i'm getting a little older in the age i want to do these vlogs also and go to different areas and i want to also you know let you experience the food options that they have in there so I've decided what I'm going to do for my vlogs is I will show you what the places have to offer so like when I go to Nepal or when I go to India or any place I'll eat the local food but when I'm at home in my home place I'll probably maintain will still maintain the uh, the vegan diet but I think when I went just to give you more thing because I've seen a lot of vlogs out there and it's very popular that to have the youtubers you know experience the local hospitality and the people i don't want to be rude to people if they're offering you food and stuff so i think it's it's time that i maybe switch over for when i'm doing the vlogs and i'm going areas if there's a local delicacy that you should have i'm going to do that uh, this one chipper in particular the salty chipper in 2019 just before the pandemic hit it won the uh, the best chipper and best fish and chips in the whole of ireland so it is very very popular so we'll take a look at that and we'll see what it's like for the first time eating something that's animal based in 13 years. Oh yeah, a day return? Yeah, Kim Morky. Kim yeah. sun so 
it's it's a shit it's a pity though because you can't see out and there's some beautiful views that you sort of see through the haze of the uh, screen like there's some old churches that you pass and fields and buildings and that and some of the little villages so you know, that would be my only one critique is on the bus is just the the window coverings it would be nicer to be able to see while you're going out there but very clean and like I said very affordable for, for Ireland we get 10 euros for a day return to uh, Kilmore Key and back I think it's very very well worth it where it is at uh, 4.30 is uh, pick up here yeah yeah there's another stop there's another stop there it's straight straight up that hill it's a bit off and then okay yeah so what we do is we come up if there's no one here we drive up there come around and come back down here anyway okay. so perfect it's, 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 thank you you might need a tire or back or after though what's that you might need a tire or back or after yeah it's so bumpy isn't it that's no, not that bad the road is terrible it's a it's a tight road it's small for the bus like especially when you hit the bus errand bus you wouldn't want to have too much traffic, but no. well, the, the the road to Tinter Abbey there, that's pretty tight too. <laughs> Cheers, thanks. Okay, so I've just got off the bus and here I am. Here's a uh, Kilmore Key. We'll take we'll take a walk up to the boats and see where see if we can get a closer look at them. It's very windy, so now we'll see how the noise reducers work, but we'll take a walk around. That was a handy little trip. Like you said, your man said it's a little tight and it's uh, bumpy a bit, but I didn't find it that bad. Um, like I said, it's value for what you get. Now, Kilmore Key in Irish, it means um, a big church on the key. That's what it translates to. Like I said, there's I think 372 or 376 the last um, consens uh, census there. Um, here's a little They're very nice and then there's a big, big storage trailer sitting there. Now there's the entrance to the Salty Fairway. So it starts in April. I'll leave the links below. The Salty Islands, they're just outside of the Kilmore Key, like in the ocean. Um, two, uh, two islands and uh, you can go there and spend a day trip on there. It's really nice. Here's the uh, harbor office for Kilmore Key. Those are nets. I don't know if they're for lobster or crabs. One of the two. You see them, they're all over here. There's a salty ferry. It's a tiny one. I wonder if they have a bigger one or... And there you have the uh, Kilmore Key lifeboats. So that's the RNOI. So they're the rescue. So when boats are in distress or ships in distress, they're called upon to go and rescue them. It's a little windy today. It's uh, breezy and cool. Um, my phone says, what's the temperature I'd say? We're looking at, uh, it says nine degrees, but sure doesn't feel like nine degrees. It's uh, quite blistery. I'd say it's closer to zero. Here's some little fishing boats here. You can see they're moored up. And there's some bigger ones out there. Morning. Well, technically I think it's afternoon now, but And this pier will go out right to the top. There's a big boat there. Martin Luther, Wexford. Looks like it's in need for a paint job though. These are all the baskets there that put the fish in.
there's a look at towards the village and see the church on the top that's where the uh, village gets the name from we'll walk up around and we'll show you I'll walk around the whole area show you a bit what's Kilmore Key like um, there's a little park a memorial park that has all the names of the people that were lost at the sea while fishing in that and there's a lot of them from the fight area in Maudlin Town I remember last time I was here looking because they have their names and their their addresses on the the big memorials Like I said, we're almost at the end of the pier. And then I'll head back and we'll go into the, the little village part. No swimming, diving, or jumping. I'd say that water would be quite cold right now. See the water is kind of choppy. I don't know if you're picking up all the wind or. And then we're gonna walk back, we'll walk back towards the village, or we'll walk around and see the different things. I'll probably go to the left first. We'll show the memorial where it has uh, the names of the the lives that were lost while fishing and there's you'll see it's a, quite a substantial number that's why the thing like the uh the lifeboats the rnli is really important and vital for the community gets a lot of support here and in wexford too and basically uh, all across ireland everywhere where there's water and fishing oh yeah Now we're walking towards the village. Here you can see, like it is a very small village. Predominantly, it was always known for a fishing village. And there's over there some parks and stuff. We'll walk this way first. There's a, for your dogs. And then some containers to put your glasses and bottles, recycling. And I think on the left here, this is the, there's a small beach here. So here, you see the big lorry there where it says eat more fish, Ergo Bay. And then the one beside it, those are all processing plants. So here's, so you can see from here, the Salty Islands. I don't know if the GoPro picks it up as, you can see the two crests. Those are the two salty islands. So they're not that far visually, like you wouldn't swim it though, but. And then here's a little small beach here. It's very rocky over there. Here's a little kids play park. So if you have young ones, you want to come down. Um, they could just play in that. And you see it's their nautical theme. They're all like ships and stuff, which fits in with the area. said these are several uh, fish processing buildings there's three or four of them in a row here's the Kilmore Key walking trail and here's wild coast yeah so the puffins are uh, on the salty islands so that's what people go to see end of the, the key I guess to the rock up at the top there it's very very windy but you can always walk up there now if you want to watch one of my other vlogs there's Cullen's Town and Bano if you keep going down that way you'll eventually get to Cullen's Town 
And while we're on the subject, please make sure you uh, hit that like button, subscribe and comment. Um, right now about, you know, somewhere between three and 10% of our subscribed. So it would really help with the algorithms and help the channel grow. Hi, how's it going? It really help the channel grow if you subscribe. At least hit the like button and comments. And like I said, the next place, I, I don't know where I'll go. I have a few in mind, but if you have any suggestions, let me know and I'll book it in. I have a few already. So Memorial Trail and Garden. Then they have sculptor here. There's that's a whale bone, is it? Rib bone from a fin whale washed ashore on the beach in 2000. Memorial Garden to those lost at sea. Like I said, there's, this was uh, opened in June 17, 2001, by Hugh Byrne, TD Minister of State. So you can see it looks like a ship, the way it's designed, homeward bound. And there's the compass made out of stone. There's a big anchor, which we in the summertime at Bloom and Gardens, I guess. Celtic symbol. So and then we'll Okay, we'll go up this way. That way's blocked. I guess they have lights here, so at nighttime these are all lit up. So like I said, here's all the different types. So you have see Kilmore Key, Churchtown, the age of the people and the names. If you want to pause it, you can. If you want to see what the the year of the the accident or wrecks or Or here. A lot from cork on this one. Just off the salties if they must. You said there's a lot of names. Here's where I saw a lot of the ones from what, the fight area where I lived for several years. See, there is a lot of them there listed, eh? Even more. And there's even more here. You see there's even some more on the sides. There's two big anchors there. And like I said, this is designed to look like a ship. And it's continued. So there's a lot of people lost to see there. Well, even on this side, we missed some here. So this is in respect of all the people who have lost their lives. And then you can walk around. And there is a trail that if you want to do hiking, like some light leisurely hiking, you can walk around um, Gilmore Key area. I'll leave the links. Uh, where you can find that in the description below. Now we'll make our way back towards the uh, village. There's an old ruggedy ship there up ahead. We'll see what that's all about. But still enjoyable. It's dry. As long as it's dry. There we go. Trespassers will be prosecuted. I think that's seen better days. There's a nice little shelter for the employees. Little picnic bench and little cubby inside. And here's some more benches. 
Sea View Fresh Fish Shop. Beach House Cafe Menu. And here's the little salty chipper restaurant. I think this is the one, isn't it? That had all the rewards yet. Yeah. We'll come back here later. Opening hours. There's the prices. We'll come back to that later. I'm gonna walk around the village and then we'll come back and get something to maybe eat. And break 13 years of the vegan diet giving it up for the vloggers not really I've sort of come to the decision that I'll introduce it you know when I'm traveling and doing vlogs because you know health wise I'm feeling great here's a little boutique Chewy Cofield Crepes by the Bay in the Key Sorry, we're closed. Keyside Deli Fish Shop. There's a little mural of a lobster. Looks cool. Here's a nice little cottage, eh? Silver Fox Seafood Restaurant. Established 1991. Take a look at the menus for you. Temporary closed. Sorry for the inconvenience. We'll walk up this way. Here's the lifeboats. They have a shop there. It's closed now, but you could buy little stuff to help support it like, and then snow cottage seafood restaurant of the year 2018 okay we're walking up here we see there's a hardware and marine supplies with all the ships and the boats you would need to have a place where you can get some supplies locally to help fix it now because I know ships are heavy on the maintenance. We'll walk up here a bit and then we'll go back down. I think there's another road we can take up. Okay. And there's some ships parked up there. One of them looks like an old lifeboat one the orange and the blue okay walk back down and we'll go to the left a bit more warm drink wouldn't go straight okay here here's a coco's coffee and shop and kitchen okay there's Coffee shop in there. Dream dog. So you want to get your dog groomed? Village garden, florists and crafts. Come on over for a sale. Let's go in. See what. Hi. Yeah. Oh, yeah, hello there. Hi, you mind if I look around? No hey, butter. I'm vlogging, is that's okay? What is it? YouTube. Oh, yeah, work away. There we go. Just showing what's offer in Wexford in the Kilmore Key area today. Oh, work away. Yeah. Tell them we're lovely people as well. Yeah. You are, you are, you are. <laughs> we don't even fight or anything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cold. Oh, no, she doesn't have it. I'm not seeing her, so that's all. Huh? Yeah, but. No, but sure. Sure, you can. Yeah. Some old signs, eh? Little signs. 30 euros. Max yeah. Fred. 
Kilkenny. Kilkenny. They want me to go there. That's one of my next places I'm going to go to. Little metal signs. Three ninety five. It's very reasonable. There's your man. It's a bit like yourself. I might get something just for a keepsake. Here's puffins. Five ninety five. This one's filled with little fishies. Three ninety five. There's another one. Yeah. It's the same. Hmm. You know, for the crack, I might get this one. Just to keep so you could get something there. To remind me of the trip. Here's your normal little souvenir stuff. And the flowers part. Here, I'll take this, sir. This is cute little thing. cold out there today. It is. It's the wind. It's not the wind. Cold, yeah. yeah, my phone says it's uh, it's like ni 9 degrees and it's sure not 9 degrees outside. No, and to say it's to get warmer during the week, so we all be sunbathing during the week. <laughs> I don't know about that. Right, cheers. Thank you Thank you, you very much. much. Thank you. There we go. Got a little trinket there I'll put in my cabinet. It's a cute little thing. $3.95, very reasonable. So we'll walk up here. Here's another little area. Look at that the ramp that goes up to the house and all the way down, that looks neat. So now we'll walk up here. Here's the wooden house bar, restaurant. Afternoon. Oh yeah, so there's guest house in the back. Doesn't look like it's open though, all the blinds are shut. I think it used to be a pub there, yeah. We'll walk up ahead, we're getting close to the uh, the church. We'll take a look at the church. A couple of thatch houses up ahead, we'll take a look at those. Ivan Sutton Art Exhibition. Nice house. Here's Stella Mar Center. So they have coffee, home bacon, outdoor area events. See that? It's a coffee shop in there. Stella Mar Center. We'll take a look at that on the way back down. We're going to walk up here, take a look at the church first. And the thatch houses that's there. Here's a nice little thatch cottage. And then here's the church. And that big stained glass window in the front there. Looks like it has a maritime theme. James Q pub and what do we have here international year of the family time capsule 1994 to 2044 sealed by Brendan Howe and TD so I guess that gets opened up in 2024 and see what kind of items were placed in it, representing the time in 1994. So obviously things have changed a lot. These are nice little thatch houses. They're very scenic. 
There's some more up ahead. That one's in the middle of trying to get its roof done. I know they're very expensive to get done and it's a skill that's dying down. Not too many people can do it. It's a lot of work. See? In the process of getting rethatched. Takes a lot of time to do it. Here's an old house there. It's falling down. These go back hundreds of years. Here's a nice one. Look at the birds that are sort of made out of straw on the top. The old walls, whitewashed. There's another thatched one across the road. Looks nice. Hi, how are you? How you doing? And there's another one there. So there's a, quite a few. It blends in with the, uh, the design of the village. And there's the bus stop your man was saying. I could uh, take that one later or on the key. So, yeah, so there's a, that one looks like more modern version of the thatch house. And being by the coast and that, it'll always be windy, you know, no matter where, what type of weather it is. It's always windy by the sea, sea and airports. Hi, uh, and there's where you'd catch the, uh, the Wexford bus back. There's a little shelter here too, so that's not, it might be an option. We'll see. And then here's another thatch house. See, it goes all the way up here. No harm walking up, hey? Eh? Take a look uh, while they walk out to the top there. And then head back down towards the village. There's a B&B &B up ahead here, so we'll stop around there and then head back down. And I'll have to change my battery soon, we're at 39%. I still have a little ways to go. Look at that, eh? Private road, no entry. And I wanted to go. Can't be breaking the rules. Here's an earth thatched cottage. Must be hard to do with the windows up there. Here's another one. And then more. Nice one with the anchor. World War II Hertz Horn contact mine found off the Salties. <laughs> Hope it was rendered non operable, no vacancies. Here's a nice one. Wow, look at that house. Look at the thatch job on that. A lot of work went into that. Here's another one. With a palm tree in the front. <laughs> it's not exactly warm weather, but we do have palm trees in our own. And there's one more up ahead. I think we're pretty much almost out of the key area. There's a Salty's Coast Hotel sign up there. So these are all options where you can stay if you want to choose there. Here's the uh, another nice thatched job done. In a modern type looking house. Like it's been renovated. Still has the old the traditional windows though. So it's probably listed. And then there's the Salties Coast Hotel. There you go. And as I wanted to turn it back on as 
you walk by the church and you see the view you have the salty islands right in front of you as you go down the little hill you have the Stella Mar Center on the right and then you can see the water right in front of you just jumps out at you and then there's the boats to the left Imagine the house right here, the wind they would get and the views it would have on a stormy day. It would be absolutely lovely, wouldn't it? So, here's the sign. The best in Ireland, 2019. 20. 18, 19, 20. Takeaway, or if you know yeah. what you want, I can. No, I'm vlogging. Is it okay? Okay, I just yeah. want to show off because I know um, this is award winning chipper yeah. and stuff. Um, I haven't eaten fish in 13 years. <laughs> I've been a vegan, but part of the vlog, I want to experience it, so I said yeah. I'll, I'll try it. So I just wanted like a just a fish and chip. Yeah, with a, the fish that you want the award for is it the yeah. bastard haddock. Yeah. yeah. Now just to let you know, like this, our restaurant is closed. Okay. But you can eat your takeaway food That's inside. That's perfect. Yeah. All right. That's fine. So just a fish and a chip then? Yep. And maybe a Coke Zero. Would you like that in a bottle or a can? A bottle would be fine. Perfect. Or perfect. Maybe, maybe a can. Can. can? Yeah, sorry. That's grand. So take a seat there then. All right. We'll call you when it's ready. All right. Thank you very much. Oh, hello. It's cold, eh? <laughs> Do you live here? Your holidays or? We actually we are from Wicklow. Wicklow. Yeah. We are on our way to park, and we wanted to. We wanted to stop by for fish and chips, and I looked this place up. Yeah. It pretty promising. Well, it is. It's a. Uh, it's award winning. Yeah, that's the reason. Yeah, know. it's been going on for. We always try. We always looking for fish and chips. It's not very often that you find during this time of the year. No. No, this is a. Uh, in the summertime, you can't get a place. It's yeah. packed out. Yeah. Yeah. So. You from around. Originally Montreal, oh, yeah. but I live in Wexford Town since 2008. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Nice. Where are you from originally? You're originally from India. Yeah, I plan on going there. I just started a YouTube channel uh, in August, so I'm heading to Nepal in September for a month. But I want to go to India, Pakistan, Iran is a, they're on my list of yeah. places I want to go. Exactly. It's a traveling, traveling and that. I started with showing off Wexford and stuff. I've got a bunch of uh, all the little sites you can see around Wexford area. Um, I went to Belfast after Christmas, so I spent uh, about six videos from Belfast. And I climbed Ben Nevis last year in Scotland. Ben Nevis. It's it's yeah. It's the highest the highest mountain in the British Isles. Yeah, well, it's nothing like, nothing like uh, the Himalayas, but... We haven't, we haven't been there. <laughs> the maximum that we have been is to Kiir Ganga. Yeah. A few other treks over there, but they're not, they're nothing. No. They're not even as high as the first base. I'm going to be doing the Lang Tang trek. Do you want it? It's okay if I put you on the video? No, why not? There you go. And what's your name? So, I'm Brad. Brad? I'm Sonali. Sonali? Yeah. Nice, I'm, I'm Mick. I'm Mick. Yeah. So, what's your itinerary? Yes, I am. Well, I'm gonna be doing. I'm going on the 24th. I'm leaving here, and I'm gonna do like a 30-day trek area. But I'm heading to uh, the Langtang trek first. I want to do the Everest Base Camp, but I'll probably do that next year. Yeah. Just because, you know, I want to give myself a testing. Yes. You know, because Langtang is 
is is a little bit easier. Okay. Now it's still altitude. I think you go up one of the Caillou treks, Caillou Mountains. You see, it's like almost five thousand. So, okay. but I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, Lang Tang seems to be more doable. Okay. So, and then but I want to see. You can actually spend. You can. People have spent as long as six months in India. Right? Oh yeah. And because it doesn't really affect your pocket that much, and there's a variety of yeah. Well, a variety of things to do. I'm trying to learn Nap Napoli right now. That's hard. Napoli. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh. Now it has similar to uh, yeah, Indy. Indy. Yeah, because yeah, right. the numbers are similar and the scripts the same. The scripts the same. Yes. So I'm hoping because I like to learn languages. I speak French, Irish, English, and Spanish. That's great. Um, so I want to learn Napoli, and eventually I want to learn Urdu or something like that because I want to go to. You know, different countries. Yeah, I think it's important Urdu, to try to. Yeah, absolutely, just like see, Urdu and Hindi, these will be totally different animals yeah. to yeah. conquer because you see the script. Yeah. The script is called Devanagari in Hindi. Right? No. That, that, that's a script. Urdu has a different script and it's an absolute different thing. But yeah, you should, if you have learned so much, I believe you can. Well, I just like it's important to be able to speak to locals a little bit. Yeah. Now, I think. Uh, Nepali is, is it's one of the hardest languages to learn. I think it, it's, 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 they say it takes about was it is it three thousand hours or ten thousand hours to learn is to it? get it? Yeah, it's really Sorry. really hard. We, we have been in that region per se, like the Himachal Pradesh, Uttaranchal, and stuff like that. So as you move north, right? So the languages start mixing. That's anything that anywhere if you're in India, as you keep proceeding north or you keep proceeding south. You see this the language is intermixing eventually as you yeah. move geographically. Oh, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah. So there is no as such a border that you say that you're crossing two borders and you'll find a sudden change. That's not the case. It's yeah. a gradual gradient in terms of culture as well as language. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. I just can't I, I just oh, brilliant. I just wanna get it up because I want to retire in less than four years. Oh. So I said when I by the time I hit sixty, I wanna be out traveling and Vlogging and I'll use. So, do, the uh, do you do, do this as a business? Or I've a just started like in August, okay. so I, I'm getting up there. I have, I have like uh, eighteen thousand views so far. That's nice. That's nice. Um, now, it takes about. They say it takes about two years to get monetized, where you can start making okay. money off it. Okay. Um, but it's it's coming along. Like I said, uh, I have four years to grow it to the point where I can actually. Have some money to use it to travel because I just want to travel and yeah, you know. That's nice. See um, it. But then, what would be the highlight of your page? Like, uh, if a person wants to um, go to your page, what can what more you can learn? Like, what's well, the story? You know? First off, I, I just my my experiences when I'm traveling around, showing off. Like mm -hmm. I've done, I've done like Taman. It's a little village outside. I've done uh, I've done uh, Kirkwall Beach. I've done. Um, Enniscorty, Wexford Town, I've done Bano, the Kilmore, so just different areas. So if you come, yeah. uh, planning to come to Ireland yeah. and that, oh, yeah. you oh, can yeah. see oh, yeah. what you can do with oh. yeah. and, uh, a detailed travel vlog kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. That's grand. That's grand. Um, what, what's the name? Celtic Mick Walks. Okay, very Celtic. Good. Celtic. I got it. Are you associated with the Celtic University in some way? No, no, it's, no. well, I'm. Just, that's oh, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, so it's just. Uh, oh, oh, this is Celtic. Okay, yeah. Celtic as in the more Irish. I yes. Celtic. Oh, no, no. Sorry. No. Okay. Ah, yeah. Cool. yeah, so. We're going to hit you up someday. There you go. <laughs> no, it's good. Uh, it's I just, with the pandemic when it started, I never used to watch YouTube. Is but it? then I started watching it and I got interested. And then I was sick. I got cancer, like. Before during the pandemic, but I, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, get go get your food. And then I got better, and then I started walking. So I did the Camino uh, last year, and then that got me interested in uh, walking. And then I said, ah, I could I could mix the two of them together. So, so what's your originally what's your original line of work? What were you? I work in insurance. Is it? Zurich Insurance. I'm an underwriter. Uh, You're an I'm underwriter. A, she uh, works. I'm, 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 I'm a yeah. So I'm into data science, but okay. Did you do the solutions for underwriters? They're very good. Small I, I'm world. Really scared of yeah. underwriters. <laughs> <laughs> They're difficult. Enjoy your meal there. Thank you so Enjoy much. You. And Cheers.
So, we're gonna give this crack. First time in 13 years. Here's what you get. You have a little container for your salt and vinegar. And then a little wine. So, I'm gonna give this a shot. are good. The chips are crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside. Probably need a knife. Get a handy knife going here. Give it a shot. So that's me done. That's a lot of food. Pretty good. Did you enjoy it? Yes, very good. A lot of food though. Not food, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot of food. 1550 all together. 1550. Uh, there you go. Lovely, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. So there you have it. It was $15.50 for the fish and chips with the can of Coke, zero. Um, now for 13 years without having fish and chips, it was it was good. It was like, like I said, too much fish uh, chips with it and two pieces of fish. Um, they were crispy on the outside, the chips were, and fluffy on the inside, they were I'd say they were very good, uh, just too much of it. And then the fish itself was okay. Like I, like I said, I'm not a big fish eater. I haven't had it, but the like I said, people uh, were sitting with across from me from uh, Wicklow. They came all the way from Wicklow on their way to Cork to stop by and go to the chipper. So that just goes to show you what kind of notoriety that the salty chipper has. So definitely, if you're in the area make it your uh, trip now if you come in the summertime plan to have a long wait like and everything's made fresh like you said seen yourself uh, just sit there for quite a while while they made it up so 